Welcome back to New Day Northwest. If you wear glasses for any reason, you know that feeling of frustration when you can't find them or they break. Well, the good news is you aren't tied to those glasses with options that go beyond even LASIK correction surgery. Dr. Matthew Sharp, founder of Sharp Vision Modern LASIK and Lens, joins me now. It is good to see you again, my friend. Likewise, good to see you. We saw you last summer talking about my son, who I put the Evo ICL in. Yes, which we're going to talk about in a minute because I think it is so fascinating. But the one thing that you've always told me that is crazy that you think about it now is that almost anyone can get out of glasses with the procedures that are available today. Uh, that's amazing. It really is. You know, I, as a kid, yeah. we were just talking about baseball in the last segment, <laughs> and I was thinking I had thick glasses, and it was just a pain to play, so very thick glasses. So it's always been, a, or always was a dream of mine. I had LASIK on my own eyes 25 years ago, and now started the LASIK, uh, Sharp Vision LASIK and Lens in 2012, and we've just expanded. We're in a brand new uh, center. We'll have our own surgery center there. So my vision was that anybody, any age over 18, anybody mm -hmm. over 18 and older, all, all the way up to 80 and 90 years old sometimes, if they wanted to, regardless of their prescription, get out of glasses and that we have a procedure for almost anybody to allow them that. That is incredible. Let's go over some of the options. We'll start with LASIK um, because that's the one that people know the most. It's the one that, um, but most people unfortunately think that's the only option. But tell us what LASIK is and what it does. Well, I think most people do know, as you said, LASIK. That's the most commonly known yeah. procedure, and that's using a laser to shape the front of the eye. So we're taking the cornea, okay. which is this sort of clear dome over the surface of your iris, okay. and we just change the curvature with the laser, oh. and that way you can see perfectly. And there's PRK, which is also the same laser, but it's on the surface of the eye rather than under a flap that we make with LASIK. Got it. Now that, you said PRK is the complement to LASIK exactly. and it's performed in place of LASIK for numerous reasons, isn't that right? That's right, there's certain reasons. They used to use it in the military exclusively. Now they allow LASIK in the military. Sometimes based on the anatomy of the eye, we choose to do PRK. Okay, so when you say the anatomy of the eye, it has to do with the shape of our eye? The shape, the thickness of your cornea. Okay. Some people just choose it, uh, the flap is, um, just adds one more step, so PRK is a little easier to perform, mm -hmm. but a little harder to recover from, but the results are the same. Okay. So it's generally for people with moderate, medium amounts of, of nearsightedness and astigmatism, usually age 18 to 45 and even older sometimes. Okay, okay. You were talking about your son who I met, who is lovely. Uh, Evo <laughs> ICL, that's what he got. It's generally reserved for those young people who have a very high prescription. Why is that and what does it involve? Well, so the Evo ICL we recommend for our patients also generally in the age 21 to 45 is okay. what it's approved for. And it's for people who are for uh, it's a complement to LASIK and PRK also. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people are outside the range of what we can do with LASIK. So Got it'll it. treat up to minus 15, which is very, very thick glasses. I had minus eight, my son had about minus seven. Oh, so when wow. we get up in that minus six and up, we start thinking a little more about doing the Evo ICL. And how does that work? What actually happens when you do that, if I can ask? Didn't answer it, yes. So that's where instead we don't touch the cornea, but we put a lens inside the eye, right behind the iris, so nobody sees it, it's painless, and it just corrects whatever nearsightedness and astigmatism you have. It takes about seven or eight minutes and is just real easy to do, and we do quite a few of those. A lens in the eye. Exactly. I, you know what, I think it's so interesting, the, the things we can do right now, and there's even one more thing, RLE, what is that? Right, so that's similar to the Evo ICL, but we generally reserve that for our patients as they get above age 45. Okay. Because, as we all may realize, patients or people need bifocals or reading glasses. Yeah. Generally, that happens right about age 45 and up. Mm -hmm. So the lens of our eye is the problem there. So if I can show this, there's a lens 
that sits right behind the colored part of your eye. Ah. And that lens gets a little less flexible in our 30s and 40s, and then it gets less clear in our 60s and 70s. So when it's less flexible and you need to have reading glasses, we can remove that lens as it starts to fail, starts to become dysfunctional. Right. And then we take that out through the uh, right at the edge so there's a tiny incision right here at the edge. Mm -hmm. And then we put in an artificial lens. Now the thing about artificial lenses is that now they come in multifocal. So the traditional uh, lens was something like this where it has just one focal point, mm -hmm. but the newer ones have multifocality. So if you can see that in the oh, camera, yeah, like the some little on rings, and that allows you to see near vision so that you don't need reading glasses and distance vision. So if our patients, for instance, came mm -hmm. in and they're 50 something years old and they have glasses, we can remove their natural lens, put in an artificial multifocal lens, that corrects everything. It's sort of a one-stop shopping. Nice. You can correct your nearsightedness, astigmatism, reading glasses, and maybe the best part is that you will not need cataract surgery because you've already had that lens removed at 50 rather than 70. Oh my goodness. This is really visual freedom for everyone. Thank you always for, for chatting with me about this. Thank I find you. it so fascinating and you know so much about this. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I just love to spread the word that people are worried about it. They're afraid it's going to be scary, painful. But what we do at Sharp Vision, because of knowing that, mm -hmm. is that we have a free comprehensive exam for everybody. If right. you say, I just don't even know, but let me just take that just step. Just go check it out. Exactly. And like he just mentioned, you can schedule your free comprehensive consultation online at sharpvision.com. Just go right there and check it out. We also have the link on our website.